Good morning, y'all. It's Lippy with Gemini Homestead. Yes, I'm in my vehicle. I'm at a local public park. I left the post office. And something this morning that happened has just been weighing on me. Now it's 10.03 a.m. So I pulled into this park. There's slides, there's swings, there's various activities, but it's empty. Because you see, we have social distance. Yes, I understand it has to be practiced. But there's also a public walk, run as they call it. And it's couples, women together, two and I see a group of three doing their walk. It's a beautiful park. Kids are out of school. I don't think that there's two feet distance between these people. Of course, couples, they live together. But children right now are in their homes or in their backyards. We're going to assume that's what's going on. They could easily be in neighborhoods right now running the streets together, doing whatever. They could be at this park. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because this morning I was on the phone with my daughter. Daycare opened up. Her work opened up Monday. So the two-year-old grandson, which has been in daycare, was able to go back to daycare. Now, as you see me look off, I'm making sure that, you know, I'm in a, you know, an area that, you know, doesn't affect anybody else or puts the camera on them. Um, but anyhow, yesterday morning, we'll go back to yesterday morning. He went to daycare. I spoke to him on the phone. All was well. He was kind of excited. Momo said, if you're good at daycare, you can come to Momo's house afterwards. Well, he did. And he played. And he played. He kept Papa and I on our toes. And Grandpa showed up. So we turned him over to Grandpa. But anyway, this morning, all was well, great conversation. You know, he's in the conversation. I'm on speakerphone in the car. She pulls up. She gets him out. The lady greets her at the door. I'm hearing this. My daughter cannot walk him into daycare. The lady says, we must keep social distance. He's two. Well, of course, he gets upset. He knows mommy walks in. Mommy carries his lunchbox or his little backpack that he takes. Mommy gives him a hug. You know, wishes him a great day. You know, yada, yada. But no. He has to be handed over to another young lady at the entrance door. So my daughter has him in the right hand. The lady has him in the left hand. And I'm thinking social distance. What, a foot and a half wide? He's two. Foot and a half wide. And he's crying. He wants his mommy to walk in. Oh no, we can't have that. You know, is there damn helium floating around in the air with some of this thinking? Yeah, I'm on a soapbox. I didn't need to get in the shed, have a shed talk. Y'all know Miss Lippy in the shed. And you new ones that may find this uh, short video? Well, I don't know. It's till I get tired. <laughs> Go back and look. You'll see. I'm brutally honest. To a flaw. I'll be. I'll just tell you to a flaw. Um, I can be opinionated. I love hard. I have a hard opinion too. I'm entitled to that. That is one thing I can't. You know they can't take yet away. As for another soap talk, but back to this. 
someone tell me the mother of a two-year-old he could have slept with her last night shared a milk chocolate drink this morning he loves coffee he could have got a hold of her coffee cup they rode in the car together point being is where would that hurt her walking him in to the facility and hugging him she's already come in contact with him if she has the virus I've moved from the word thing to virus. He's already carrying it. Now, some of you may totally disagree with what I'm saying, and that's fine. But a light switch went off. And I said, where is damn common sense here? He's already carrying something if he is. She's not going to hug another child. She's walking her child in 10 feet. 10 feet, people. 10 feet. Social distance is 6 feet. Walk him in 6 feet. But you're already handing him hand to hand to another person. Okay, but, you know, daycare open. It's essential. I get that. Well, then that just really made my mind ramp up. And I'm not going political by no means. This is strictly something that I heard. Might as well have seen it. It was just right there in my ear. Which led me to the next soapbox. And that soapbox is, you can't go get your hair cut. Well, I don't cut mine but twice a year. But there's people that get frequent haircuts. So, your hygiene, cutting, yada, yada, that's not essential. But you can open up a damn bar or a nightclub and call that essential. So, getting liver disease, pancreatic cancer, that's an essential? And I ain't down in anybody that has an adult beverage. I do. In the form of a can with blue mountains on it. But they need to be really blue. I mean, like ice blue. You see, there's a flaw in all of this, y'all. One thing about social media and YouTube, it gives you a platform. Now, I could restrain and keep my opinion to myself. I have a channel. I've already exposed myself. Meaning, I've done put myself... If I'm going to put myself out there, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be transparent. So, this is Lippy being transparent. It's my... What do you say? It's my channel. It's my content. Without disrespecting anybody. And I'm, I don't want to disrespect anyone. But I'm trying to make a point here. There's flaws in this soft opening. There is a state right now that is revoking driver's license, fining people if they open up their salon, if they open up their gym. But the bar next door just opened. There ain't no social distance. I don't know. Maybe the alcohol is like a prophylactic. Maybe it prevents it. I don't know. Or maybe we in such a crisis that somebody needs a little nip. I say take a deep breath and let's rethink all of this, y'all. We're not out of this mess yet. But fear... This is setting fear in. There's no kids at the playground. But you got 57 kids sitting in a daycare. Two-year-olds slobbering on stuff. Sticking toys in their mouth. Sharing toys. I got a problem with this. Why yellow tape this? It ain't no different. But, oh, you could send your 8-year-old and 9-year-old to the daycare. Pay $250 a week. 
There ain't no social distance there. So, is it opening businesses that can make money money? This is free, so we got to shut it down. Think about that. Yeah, I'm livid. And it doesn't have anything to do with my grandson. I'm talking about children. In his situation. That was just handed off at a door. That's not the routine. Because they may be carrying something. Well, hell, they just carried the shit all the way through the door. People walking. People walking their dogs. What are the kids? Is this the example we need to set for the children? Fear. 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 No, put your kids out in the dirt. Let them eat some dirt. Let's start there. Let's build the immune system up. Quit hiding. Just be smart. Wash. You know, soap and water? Wash. Don't be breathing in somebody's face. I'll show you a better one. Let me get it out. So I wasn't prepared. I just pulled over, started rattling. Y'all know what I've been seeing. Now I understand you ain't supposed to breathe your own stuff. You ain't supposed to do all I Okay, I get that. I'm going to put this thing on. I want you to tell me. How is this helping me? My nose is hanging out because they say, Oh, you can't be breathing in your own. Let's see. If the crap's going to get you, this damn thing ain't going to help you unless you're kissing on somebody. So the new way to wear it is, and that's open. I'm not a doctor, y'all. I don't claim to be. Mm -mm. But I am somebody that uh, has common sense. I am somebody that says, you know what? I'm going to adhere to the rules within reason. But if when it crosses the line of just pure stupidity, I cannot partake in that. Let's stop fearing. Be smarter. Just a little smarter. Wash yourself. Open the damn country up and let these kids see what reality... This is not reality. This is stuff you see on Discovery in other countries. For whatever reason they choose to do it, have to do it, whatever it is. This is not my country. This is not going to defy me. This, this here, no. The ones that are susceptible to this virus protect them. Let's use caution if you're in contact with them. Don't isolate them like they're in prison. Make provisions. I don't care if it's put a TV in their room. Do this social stuff where you see each other. And y'all know what it is. I don't know what it's called. It's whatever I'm doing right now. Video and video chat. There you go. Don't put them in prison and punish them. If you're all about protecting the weak, then let's implement something that eases them through this crisis. And quit putting people out in the streets saying, I will arrest you. I'm going to revoke your driver's license if you don't do this and if you don't. Well, I'm right here in the state of Louisiana. I see nobody following the rules. They're all huddled up in a backyard somewhere, but out in the real world, they're... I'm following, no, hell no, I just saw you at a barbecue at a, at a crawfish bowl, you know, on Facebook, because you're my neighbor down the road, and you had 57 people, y'all all, you know, drinking and eating and slobbering and whatever else, but out in the streets, you, oh, I follow the rules, you, you damn hypocrites, yeah, I'm mad, so don't let your children see this video, I may lose some subscribers, I'm sorry. 
Uh, Lippy ain't trying to say don't follow rules. I'm just trying to say let's use some common sense. But don't be putting fear in these children. This the, You don't want them to fear the future. Now, us adults, mid-50s and the 60s, am I afraid for them? Well, yeah, I am. I'll be honest. I am afraid for these children. But they don't need to fear it. They don't. They're children. Put them over here. Let them get on the slide. Let them get a, a bobo on their knees. Let them eat some dirt. Let them throw some mud pies at you. Let them be children. We take the wrath. We don't change them. We don't take from them the greatest gift you can give a child, and that is being a child. That's where I'm going. So it ain't about me. It ain't about you. You choose to do what you want to do. But let these kids be kids. The adults ain't stopping. Didn't they say that the kids carry? It's very few children that's getting it. They're carrying it. Now, that's all the signs. Depends on which channel of the radio, which channel of the TV, or which newspaper you choose to read. Science is science, and it's got 27 different opinions, 27 different tests. At the end of the day, I don't think none of us know really what the hell's going on. We got to put faith first. Have faith. Have common sense. Make your own boundaries that work for you. You're the one that's got to live with it anyway. Really and truly, I got to live with my decisions. Whether they're positive or whether they're negative, if I made the decision, I got to live with that. I will say I'll be very cautious with my decisions. I'm not putting myself out there being liable to catch something because I have an autoimmune disease. I know a few elderly. I'm not going to them. I was at a post office. I think that's no different than a Walmart. They got the little tags staying six feet apart. Does that really help you? The counter that you have to write the little paper out? How many people don't went on that counter? Come on, people. Are we going to truly live our life in rubber gloves and masks? In a bubble. Not me. I'm going to try to get my immune system as strong as it is. And if it's my time, it's my time. He takes me to spare somebody else. I am prepared. But I will not fear. I will not allow my grandchildren to be raised in fear. Fear gets you nowhere. Be concerned. Be an advocate to what works for you. But open a park if you're going to open up a damn bar. Open up a park and open up a beauty salon if you're going to open up a bar or a casino. You see the variables here, people? Sin will not win in Lippy Circle. And drinking a beer ain't a sin. I know. Maybe a sin to you, but it ain't a sin to me. I have to repent, and I do that every day. But my point is, look at the businesses that is being allowed to reopen in the state of Louisiana, and that's the state I got to speak of. But at least my state's not revoking my driver's license because I'm opening up my beauty salon that employs four people that couldn't get unemployment, that could not get the government assistance. Think about that. Self-employed. They didn't pay in enough. They didn't do this. So I don't know what it is to be a salon person, hair person. But I do listen to the news. I do listen to these people speak on the radio when they call in. 
my heart goes out to them. Put, let them have their job. You just put the bartender back to work. Put this person back to work. Now, I ain't got my glasses on, so I don't even know how long I've been sitting here rattling, because that's all it is, is rattling. 21 minutes and 26 seconds. By the time I cut the front off and the back off, about 19 minutes. But I feel better. And the ones that hung in and watched it, thank you. But I bet a lot of y'all agree with me. Let my grandson be a child. Mm -hmm. Let your children, your grandchildren, your niece, let them be children. Let's take the brunt of it. Let's figure out as an adult, together, what we can do to cushion them. But that was wrong this morning, in my opinion, and I don't call people stupid, but I'm going to say this was stupidity. You a foot and a half from my daughter. So you just compromised yourself walking into those 72 children. Common sense. My word. Where did it go? It, it's like it's gone. You don't need a damn book to tell you right from wrong. You don't need a dictator. to. You, God gave it to you. Use it. So, I'm going to get off my soapbox. I love all of y'all. I'm just, you know, rattling. But I hope a lot of y'all agree with me. I think you do. And the ones that don't, just respect my opinion. As I'm going to respect yours. Because I love everybody. We're human. We're better together than we are apart. Regardless of our views, we're better together. So on that note, I need to go home. I have work to do. But letters went out today. I think we need to get back to the pen pal life. You know, I for one quit writing years ago. Man, them stamps is too high. They 25 cents. They 45 cents. Now they 55 cents. Sometimes it beats the hell out of a text message to see them words written out. So yeah, I'm going back in time. I'm going to buy that book of stamps. I'm going to be proud of it. And when I feel the need, I'm going to send a little note. I'm going to send a little card. I think it's time that we take some Way steps backwards on some levels. Let's go back to what was working. Because what we're doing now, it ain't working, people. It ain't working. But at least not for Lippy. So, got my water. I need to get out this park because I done had two people walk by going, I can't have that. Next thing you know, they're going to be calling the popo. Man going to be saying, can I help you? I'm going to say, hey, tell my YouTube family hello. Yeah, they're going to send me to that rubber room, y'all. Matter of fact, the people that was looking, they done got in their car and left. So, <laughs> they may not even see my camera. They may be thinking, oh, it's time really got to that lady. She done locked herself up in the car and she talking to herself. Now, wouldn't that be cute if I'd have had a camera outside the car with a mic listening to them? Yeah, that woman done lost her mind. Look at her. She's over there talking to herself because ain't nobody in that car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got this speaker thing in my car. Like, if somebody calls, I hit a button, and I just talk. I think it's called hands-free. I have been known to be at a red light, and you know you get that feeling of somebody looking at you, and you just kind of try to look over there nonchalant well I can't see where the flip so I have to hey and I wave to them cause they staring all at me cause I just be duh, 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 duh. or a song come on that I love and I'm just belting it like you know Whitney Houston I I mean I am belting it I'm a see, see what's her name Dion Celine Dion yeah that's her and they just be looking at me like oh lord but see, that's real, y'all. 
I didn't roll my window down and put them through it. I mean, you know, I, I don't go do that to them. I don't know, maybe I hit a note, note or two that might have went through the window, but I try not to do that. But I get them looks. Mm -hmm. That's real. Let's get real, y'all. So, until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. It's 1028. I think I said it was 1003. So I need to get my button gear, get myself on home. I got things to do, a guard to tend to. Ooh, lunch to make. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do, as well as you do. So, I'll catch you on the next one. We may be cooking, we may be gardening. Who knows? I told y'all a while back, Lippy's channel's changing because I'm right in the middle of, of different homesteads. Fixing a house, selling a house, buying a house. Girl, I, I'm just like everywhere. That's what I tell myself, girl, you everywhere. So y'all just going to be everywhere with me. Y'all may get more of these um, opinionated videos, but I need somebody to talk to. My dog's tired of hearing it. Just saying. So, God bless you.